In this video, we'll look at SketchUp Pro 2021 and the Follow Me tool for adding profile-driven modeling into our scenes. I'm here in a architectural template scene. I'm going to delete my scale figure. I'm going to draw a rectangle of size 10 feet, comma 20 feet. And as I type that in and hit enter, it is going to lock in the size of that slab. I'm going to push and pull this up three feet to make a surface that I can work with. In fact, let's click and push pull up another three feet. And then I'm going to define this as a component. So I'm going to triple click to select it all. I'm going to right click to make component, call this my slab. And what I want to do with the push pull is create a profile that wraps around the outside of the top of this object. And I'm going to draw that profile very in a very specific fashion. I'm going to come up 18 inches and out 8 inches, down 2 inches, in 1 inch, So I have here a profile, and I want to wrap this around this object here. So let me first move it. Into place and let's rotate it and I'm going to rotate it using my compass on the side of the box. And I'm going to rotate it from here, let's say 90 degrees and then use that move tool again to move it. And in fact, I want to move it from here to there. And then I think I'm going to oops, define a line. So let's select that line and that face. So select the path and select the face. And under tools, oh, excuse me. I select the path, edge, edge, edge. In fact, let's go edge, 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 edge. Tools, follow me. Select face to extrude that face. And what we get now is we get that face wrapped all the way around this object. And because this was a component and I've been modeling on top of it, these two are not bound together. I could move one piece of geometry from another. And in fact, I think what I want to do is select and delete the top face of this profile. And let's drag a window around this trim. And I'm going to call it Make Component Trim. And then I'm going to actually select both of these and make component, let's call this slab with trim. If I look at my components now, and I need to make sure I'm looking at components in my model, I have my original slab. I have my trim, which is quite separate from my slab. And then together I have slab with trim. And this component has an instance each of each of these components within it. So it's a nested component. It has two subcomponents to define itself. And that's a very powerful way to use components to define more complex objects.